Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, and I'm going to add Wonder Woman. Yes. They're all well-known superheroes. Now you can add Iggy the Inhaler to that list. Well, CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez shows us how one doctor is helping kids breathe easier with a little comic relief. A consultation combined with illustration, not your usual doctor's visit. We're squeezing the airway closed. It's Dr. Alex okay. Thomas's unique approach to helping young patients understand asthma and allergies. The health allergist was inspired by his childhood love of comics. I started drawing these characters as a child with asthma myself, as a way to kind of help understand how my own disease was affecting me. The allergens became villains, and the medications and inhalers became heroes, exactly. all in a line of comics, posters, videos, stickers, and even trading cards, starring superheroes like Iggy the Inhaler, Bronco the Bronco Dilator, and Coltron the Controller, all fighting bad guy allergens like the Roach, Smokey Joe, Moldar and Polynoid, the Dust Mite, and Harry. We have Iggy the Inhaler talking to a child who's having an asthma attack. He goes in and points out the three components of asthma. My belief is that kids actually are pretty smart, and they can understand this mechanism of action stuff if you teach it in a fun way. The characters in comics are a big hit with young patients like 11-year-old Abigail Burgos. And I just like the characters that he added in. It helps me because it shows you what's happening inside your body. It's a lot easier to understand, and it's like you can just kick back and just read it. It's important for kids to understand their asthma and their treatments because that way they can listen to what their body's telling them and use the meds to help prevent those dangerous asthma attacks. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. Dr. Thomas also created comics dealing with other health topics like pediatric pain management and concussions. Very good. Good way to send a message right there. Yes.